Welcome to the spoken tutorial on working with objects. In this tutorial, you will learn how to cut, copy and paste objects, resize objects dynamically using handles, arrange objects, group and ungroup objects, edit individual objects in a group and move objects within a group. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Let us open our water-cycle.odg file which we created earlier in this series. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. Now let us copy and paste three more clouds. First, select the cloud in the page and right click to view the context menu. Select the option copy. Then place the cursor anywhere on the page. Right click for the context menu and select paste. But we can see only one cloud. Where is the cloud which we copied and pasted? The copied cloud has been pasted on top of the original cloud. Let us select the cloud and move it to the left. Now we can see both the clouds. Let us create one more cloud in the same manner. Select the cloud. Right click and select copy. Again right click and select paste. Now select the copied cloud and move it to the left. We can also use shortcut keys to make copies of objects. Ctrl plus C to copy an object. Ctrl plus V to paste an object. Ctrl plus X to cut an object. Switch back to the draw file. Select the cloud and press Ctrl and C keys together. The cloud has been copied. To paste, press Ctrl and V keys together. Now select the cloud and move it to the desired location. Press Ctrl and Yes keys to save the file. To avoid accidental loss of work, set the automatic save option. That way your changes are saved automatically. Now let us see how to resize the arrow object. First select the arrow object and move the cursor very slowly over one of the handles. A small Transparent arrow with a square beneath appears at the cursor tip. Now press the shift key on the keyboard. Click the left mouse button. Using the arrow's handle, drag it down and release the mouse button and the shift key. It is much easier to resize line and arrow objects if you press the shift key. If you don't, then the line and arrow will not be straight. Let us undo all the changes we made for the arrows. Resizing using the handles of an object is called dynamic resizing. This means we do not use exact measurements. We will learn to exactly resize objects in later tutorials. Next let us increase the width of this rectangle object. Select the rectangle, grab one of the corner handles by clicking the left mouse button. Press the shift key on the keyboard and drag it upward. Look at the status bar at the bottom of the draw window. Note that when we resize the rectangle again, the dimensions change. The status bar shows the change in position and dimension of the object at the bottom. Now let's arrange the clouds and the sun as shown here. Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. To identify the clouds, let's number them 1, 2, 3, 4, starting from left to right. To insert the numbers, let us select the first cloud, double click and type 1. Similarly, number the other clouds too. If you have resized your LibreOffice window, some of the icons may not be visible. In that case, Click on the double arrow icon at the end of the toolbars to see the hidden icons. Now let us select 
cloud 4 and overlap it over the sun. To send it behind the sun, click on the drop down next to the arrange icon on the standard toolbar and select the send backward option. Send backward sends an object one layer behind the present one. Now let's select cloud tree and place it such that it overlaps above the sun. Then send it to the back of the sun by following the previous steps and select send to back. It now becomes simple to arrange the clouds as shown in the slide, isn't it? Let's select cloud 4 and bring it to the front. To do so, follow the previous steps and select the bring to front option. Bring to front brings an object to the first layer. Then select cloud 3 and bring forward. Bring forward brings an object one layer ahead. Now select cloud 2 and place it overlapping on cloud 1. The clouds are now arranged as shown in the slide. Next let us delete the numbers from the clouds. To do so, select the cloud and double click. Then select the number and press the delete key on the keyboard. Similarly, remove the numbers from the other clouds too. Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. Let us add trees like the one shown in the slide to the water cycle diagram. We shall draw a tree using split arrow and star explosion objects. Let us add a new page to this draw file. To do that on the menu bar click on the page menu and then click on new page. Alternatively you can add a new page by right clicking on the page in the page pane. And click on the new page option from the context menu. Click on the shapes icon in the sidebar. From block arrow section select split arrow. Place the cursor on the page. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag downwards and sidewards. Release the mouse button to complete the split arrow object. We have drawn a tree trunk with two branches. First click anywhere on the page so that none of the objects are selected. Next let us add leaves to the branches. In the shapes pane under stars select explosion. Now move to the draw page. Place the cursor on the left branch of the arrow. Hold the left mouse button and drag left. Release the mouse button to complete the leaves. So we have now added leaves. Close the shapes pane by clicking on the cross icon. We shall copy this shape to the right branch of the tree also. Select the shape and press Ctrl plus C keys to copy. Then press Ctrl plus V to paste. Select the copied object and move it to the right branch. We have drawn a tree. Let us select the tree and move it down. When we do that, only the tree trunk moves down. The leaves don't. Here the tree trunk and the two leaves are treated as separate objects. Let us press Ctrl plus Z keys to move the tree trunk back to where it was. Now we will learn how to group the tree trunk and the two leaves into a single unit. Any change made to a group is applied to all the objects within the group. First click anywhere on the page so that none of the objects are selected. Make sure that your cursor is at the top left of the tree object. Now press the left mouse button and drag to bottom right so that all the three objects of the tree are selected. A dotted rectangle is seen. Ensure all the objects of the tree are selected within this rectangle. Then release the left mouse button. Click on the page so that none of the objects are selected. You can also select two or more objects by pressing the shift key and then clicking on each object. Right click on the object. From the context menu select group. Now click on any object in the tree. 
the handles appear as if they are part of a single object. These objects are now treated as a single unit. To ungroup them as separate objects, right click on the object and select ungroup. The objects are now ungrouped and are treated as separate objects. Let's group them again. Now suppose we want to edit a single object within a group. What do we do? Let me demonstrate a simple way to do this without having to ungroup and regroup the objects. Select the group and right click for the context menu. Select enter group. Let us select the leaves on the right side of the tree and reduce the size. To exit the group, place the cursor on the tree. Right click and select exit group. We are now out of the edit mode for the group. Now let us reduce the size of the whole tree so that it fits in the water cycle drawing. Select the tree, grab one of the corner handles and resize as shown. The size of the whole tree has reduced. Let us select the tree, cut and paste it into the water cycle drawing page. Then let's add three more trees to this diagram. Select the tree and press Ctrl C and Ctrl V keys to copy and paste. Repeat Ctrl plus V again. Then move the copied trees to the desired locations. Remember, each tree is made up of three objects grouped together. Press Ctrl S keys to save the file. Next, let us add a water body to the diagram. To give the effect of water, we will add a triangle next to the rectangle and then add a curve. Click on the shapes icon in the sidebar. Under basic shapes, select right triangle. Let us draw it and place it next to the rectangle. Click anywhere else on the draw page to deselect the drawn object. Now let us draw a curve filled with color to show the movement of water. In the shapes pane, go to the curve section. Select Freeform Line Filled option. Then place the cursor on top of the triangle, hold the left mouse button and drag it down. Let us adjust the curve so that it looks like flowing water. The triangle and the curve together create water. So let's group them as a single object. By holding the shift key, select the right triangle and the curve objects. Right click and select group. We have now created the basic objects in the water cycle diagram. Save all the changes and close the file. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we have learned to cut, copy, paste objects. Resize objects dynamically using handles. Arrange objects. Group and ungroup objects. Edit individual objects in a group. And move objects within a group. Here is an assignment for you. Open mypractice.org file. Add a page. Create this picture on your own. On a new page, draw a circle, a square, and a star and place them as shown. Select each object and apply each option from the Arrange menu. Check how the placements of objects change for each option. Now place the objects as shown and check the Bring to Front and Behind Object options. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desicru Solutions Private Limited in 2011. 
The script for this tutorial was written by Nikita Misal from IIT Bombay. And this is Madhuri Ganpati along with Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thank you for watching.